Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. It's Pilates with Ben time. So come along. Let's start the class. Kneeling position. You can also do this in a seated position, cross leg in a diamond position if kneeling is not so comfortable for you today. Now I have a medium resistant band. Obviously, the stronger the resistor, you may have to work a little bit harder, and the lighter resistant, you may work a little lighter on us at challenge. Now, let's start the class with a breathing exercise. I'd like you to place your bed wide open, place it along the lower rib cage. Sitting nice and tall, kneeling nice and tall, elbows onto the side, chest is opened. Now here, let's just begin with some breathing. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. As you inhale, I'd like you to observe the expansion of the rib cage towards the band, the back of your rib cage and the side of the rib cage. So you almost, you are actually stretching the band out through with your breath. Exhale, you deflate. Inhale, expand into the bend. Backward and sideways. Exhale. Deflating. I'm going to come forward here. See, as you inhale, Expanding the roots into the back, exhale. So we're working on our diaphragmatic breath here, using the band to assist our breathing, giving a good tactile cue. On the model, it's the flexibility of our rib cage. Let's do two more times here. Inhale. It's always good to start the class with some really good breath work. Last one. I just feel like it sets our mind right for the rest of the class. Now, this time, inhale. Externally rotate the shoulder, open the arms up to the side. Exhale, bend. And in Still expanding the rib cage into the band as you externally rotate the shoulders out. One more here. Now we open and stay. Extend your elbows, reach the arm out. I feel like my shoulder blade is being supported with the bend and return as we exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Three more, reaching out. Keeping the external rotation in the shoulder as you stretch your elbows and the arms along. And come back. Two more. In breath. Exhale. Last one. Now stay out here. We're going to rotate to your right as we exhale. And we return. Inhale. And come back. I can say exhale. Let's keep it that. Exhale and rotate. I change my mind. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Rotate. Rotating from the axis of the spine. Pelvis is nice and stable. Two more sets. And center. Last set here. Last one. Come back center, 
bend the elbows, return the arm forward. Okay, let that go. Now I'd like you to place your fan. Let's make this a little neater. Place your fan lengthway in the middle of your mat. And I like you to sit on one end of the fan towards the front of your mat. And then wrap the other end of the fan. Go. Have your legs in a diamond leg position. I think I might be a little bit shorter my back here. All right. Now hold on to the other end of the band. Find your long spine position here. Allow the shoulder blades to glide down your spine. And from here, as you exhale, you can just stretch your arm long. Inhale. Exhale, reach, in, out, reach, and down. Now here, stay up for a moment here, at the long position, feeling that shoulder blades gliding into the bottom of the spine. But I like you to feel the spine reaching up along the opposite direction and retract the elbows back. Two more. Extend. We have an open position left, downward to the base of the pelvis and upward to the spine. And retract here. All right, let's move on to the C curve. This is a great way to explain what is the C curve that is required in Pilates. So have the elbows wide, here, as you breathe out, pulling the abdominal wall into the spine and pressing the spine into the band, but at the same time, keeping the length of the spine with the band as you run back, or flexion, we call that. Inhale, recover upright. Exhale, pulling back with the abdominal wall into your spine and the spine presses into the band. But keep the spine right along. We do not want to compress down. We want to pull in yet long through the spine. Then inhale, we extend. And exhale. Allow the bend to help you find that beautiful C curve, that beautiful length as you round and extend. Let's do one more here. Exhale into the C curve. Now let's hold here. Now I'd like you to roll back. So starting with the sacrum, melting the sacrum into the bend and the lower spine into the bend. And yet, you still nice and long here. Exhale, come over the pelvis, lift through the spine. And again, exhale, seeker. Neck is long, gaze to the floor, rolling back, sacrum into the bend, lower back into the bend. Elbows just working here, and over the pelvis we go. Lifting the spine up right. Let's do two more times. Exhale. Roll back. In breath. Exhale. And you know, I'm feeling that I am actually resting onto a hammer or against a hammer as I roll back. So you can feel that sensation. Imagine you are in the hand here. And exhale, over forward, lifting through the spine and let go. All right, let's move on. Let go of the band and bless the band. Put your feet, legs are straight. You can also do this with a slightly bent knee. So what I'm looking here is a beautiful long back here. If flexibility is a challenge today, please go ahead and bend the knees. But please get the abdominal nice and working so that you can support your spine to be upright. Okay, 
I'm going to keep my legs straight because I'm able to do that today. Right here, here we go. We're going to bend the elbows, pull it, elbows to the side of your ribcage and past the ribcage. Allow the shoulder blades to glide down, allow the neck to go tall and recover. Exhale, inhale, recover. Exhale, inhale. Two more here. Exhale, inhale. Just warming up the back. Exhale, and step into our C curve. So imagine you have the bend along the spine like before. Then we're going to roll back down to the floor, keeping the arms long. Again, you may bend your knees if you need a little extra help to articulate the lower spine down, all the way to the floor. Inhale to a chest lift position. Exhale, heel up and over forward. Lift through the spine. Let's go ahead and bend the elbow and add a little hard release through the upper back. Straighten the arms into the C curve and roll back, starting from the tailbone, sacrum, lower spine, all the way down to the floor. Lifting up, chest lift. Exhale, up and over forward into the C curve. Upright, roll the arm back and high rollers, which means it's a Thoracic upper back extension. Recover. And two more C curve. And rolling back. The band is really, really useful for us to just go a little deeper with our roll up here. Can we, as we inhale, can we actually peel one segment of vertebra at a time and really try to get that stretch in the back? As we come up, of course, using the abdominal. And all the way the spine up. Bend the elbow and take the other spine to an extension. Last one here, we round. We roll back, roll back, get the sacrum down, get the lower spine down, every segment of the vertebra pressing down all the way, all the way, all the way. Lifting inhale, press down and lift every single segment of the vertebra up off the floor, lifting through the spine, roll the arms back, high lift, and recover. Now we're gonna transition ourselves to the floor, so let's go ahead and round the spine. We roll back, back, all the way down to the floor. Bend the elbow, bend the knees, take your heels above your sitting bone. Now slightly press away your feet, so they are hip with distance apart and not together. So we have that traction of opposite direction, the left and the right foot here. Let's see, all right. Now keep the elbows anchored, press the leg up, bending the knee, folding the hip, take the feet down. Exhale, press up, inhale, flex the hip and knees. Exhale, press up, you still have that pulling away with the feet, keeping your feet in a parallel, keep your distance apart, not together. Inhale, press away as you bend. Exhale, so the outer muscle of the legs are working here. In breath, two more. Exhale, press up. Inhale, pull away. Last one, press up and then folding in. Changing the feet into small B positions, heels are together. Right, here we go. Hips are in external rotation. We extend, press, reach. Inhale, fold. Exhale, press, reach. So I'm taking this from the footwork series on a Cadillac, also known as the trapeze table. Exhale, reach out. Inhale, keep the pelvis grounded on the floor. Try to get the leg as vertical as you can. And extend, reach. Inhale, fold. 
Last one, please. Reach and stay up there. Straighten the arms out. Slightly diagonal here. Pull down the arms towards the floor. Inhale, bring over. Exhale, pull down. Keep the shoulder blade anchoring down to the floor as you pull the arms closer to the floor. In breath. Exhale. In breath. A lot of work in the arms here. Exhale. Inhale. You can definitely see which arms is stronger. Mine will be definitely be the right. My left one is trying to catch up with my right arm. And on my left arm, we can work it. And two more. Last one. Press and stay up there. Bend the knee into a little frog here. Now we exhale, extend forward. Ooh, inhale. All right, we're going to hold strong in the arms here. Exhale. I like you to choose an angle that works for you today. Inhale, fold again. Imagine you're doing frog on the reformer or the springboard or the Cadillac on the spring. We extend and push the spring away. Inhale, recover back. And reach up. My left arm is trying to catch up with my right arm. So they are stable on left and right. And in breath. Two more. In breath. Last one. In breath. And release. Okay. Lower the feet down. Shake those arms. All right, now time for the pelvic curls. Half your feet parallel, knees bent. Place the fan on the knee, bias towards the thigh, upper part of the knee. Reaching the arms down towards the floor. Open through the collarbone here. Take a breath. Exhale. From the abdominal, we flatten the lower back. Then we peel the spine up, lifting the pelvis, reaching your thighs and your knees towards the band and pull the band in opposite direction here. Exhale, roll down, softening through the neck, through the upper chest, through the middle back, lower spine, the sacrum, and back to starting position. We do that again. Exhale. Abdominal sinking the lower spine, not by squeezing your glutes, and then you press the feet, then continue curling up your hamstring with the switch on. Now reach your thigh to the bend, press the arms down, push the pelvis up higher, then exhale, roll down, melting, softening upper back, middle spine, lower spine, and back to the neutral position two more times please exhale can we really get the ultimate deepest flexion through the spine as we roll up and reach the thigh forward 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 more forward that's not English but you know what I mean as far forward as possible there we go roll down rib cage middle back lower spine and Back to the floor. Again. Exhale. Last one. Roll it up. Roll it up. Roll it up. Roll it up. Push it up. Push more. Lift up more. We got more here, can we? Yes, we can. Press up, arms down, lift up a notch higher. There we go. Good job. And then roll down. Roll down. Roll down. Brilliant. Okay. Let go of the bend. Have your bands in your hands. Bring the legs up. One. Tabletop two. Take your arms overhead. In breath. Exhale. Lift up. Hundreds breath. Press down with the bend. Release. Up. Come and down. Exhale. Press down. In. Coming back. Exhale. Press. Up. And back. Two more, please. 
press, press, press. Up. Last one, please. Lifting as high as possible and then press it down as much as possible. Bring it up. Hey, shall we do hundreds here? So let's go. Lift up. We press down, in breath and pump. And inhale, three, four, five. And keep that leg stable. Just two more sets, so a short hundreds, in fact, we only 50 here. In breath. Last one. And release the arms up, hand reach the arms back down, number one foot down, second leg down, stretch the leg away from me. Bring the leg closer to me, up to the sky, and place the bend on the feet. Cool down, anchor, bottom down. All right, let's go for the leg circle here. So we go across the body to you. Down as we inhale, exhale. Inhale, the hand is giving us good feedback. And to keep our pelvis grounded here, and also support us. And then exhale, the other way, please. Inhale, out, down, across. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last one. Exhale, center, stay. Wrap the band with the opposite arm or hand. The other arm pressed down to the side of the floor. Bring the band across the body towards you. Release a little pinky to the floor. We call it sickle foot. And then let's go a little bit deeper. Just stretch the lateral side of the knee. And stay. Try to get the pelvis grounded on the floor so we're not lifting the pelvis up here. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. And even more. It's available for you today. And come back, recover. All right, let's switch leg. Half the other foot. Find the band, stretch the other leg down on the floor. Flex the foot, anchor the shoulder. Across the body we go and in breath. Exhale. In breath. Thus make the leg circle exercise a lot more, a lot easier with the back, isn't it? Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Anchor the bottom, exhale. Last one. Exhale, come back to center, flex, flex, and hold onto the band with the opposite arm, same arm open down to the side, and single the foot. Bring the leg across the body. Try to keep anchoring the pelvis down evenly on the floor as we pull the leg opposite across to the other side. In breath. Exhale, can be quite intense. Try to breathe through it, it will pass. Two more breath. Exhale. The heavier you allow the legs to be, the deeper the stretch will be. And come back to center and bend the knees. All right, legs together, arms over head, bend your hands, let's go for a roll up, inhale, lifting up, exhale, pulling up, 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 into that sacred lift the spine. Okay, now, moving on to our glute section, section, let's fold the band in half, and I'd like you to tie a knot. In. So I want you to be 
not so generous in the loop. Meaning, if you have a longer band, just make sure it's not the loop is not too big because we're going to put our five in the loop. Basically, the smaller the loop, the harder you have to work. The looser the loop, the easier it will be. Okay. All right. So let's get us up to sideline position. Bend the knees, align the feet with the spine, lifting the underneath waist, reaching the pelvis long. Okay, make sure this is stable. And here we go. Up. Okay. And we go up. So the band gives a bit of resistance in a clench. Making a glute work a little harder. And up. And up. And five. Let's go five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now stand the last one. Little pulses up. Two, four, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And shake your leg and release. All right, stand the top leg. Bring the back slightly closer to the knee here. And bring the bottom leg forward. So you are in a little H position. Reaching the top hip away, relax the foot. And we go up and down. Lengthen the pelvis as we lift the thigh up. Three and four and five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. We go forward, forward, up, down, pull back, forward, up, down, pull back, and forward, up, down, pull back, forward, up, down, pull back. You know what? I forgot to do pulses for the side leg lift. We're gonna do that later. But it's three more. Down, up, two more. Down, pelvis stable, last one, stay. We're gonna let the pulses here up. Two, three, four, five, six, keep smiling, I know it's burning. Nine, 10, bring it down, bring it back. We're going to repeat this part. We forgot to do pulses, go up. Two, three, four, five, go high, high. Eight, nine, 10, take it down. Bring it in, hand at the bottom. Did a great job there. Let's go to the other side. So make sure I remember the pulses there at the end of each exercise. So we start with the cleanse. Tuck the feet aligned with the spine. Lift the bottom waist up. Reach the top hip away. Proud chest, long neck. And here we go. Up and down. Open two. And three, four. I understand all these exercises could be so painful when you do a number of repetitions, but just remember strong hips. It's going to help you to stabilize the pelvis, it's going to help you to activate your lower abdomen a lot deeper. Okay? And all right, and I actually lost my count. Let's do two more times. Last one, out we stand. Little pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go, lower it down, 4. All right, now extend the top leg, bend the bottom knee. Just make sure the bend is towards, closer towards the knee. Now here we go, lengthen away, we're going to reach. And two, I've got a crown on my top foot here. Three, I'm just going to wriggle my ankle around to get the crown out of it. Four, ignore my ankle please. Five, six, seven, eight. Two more, and we've got pulses. Last one, stay high, and let's go up. Two, go high, three, four, Five, higher, six, seven, higher, eight, nine, 
10 left. Well done. We've got the forward lift, forward, up, down, and back. I know it's burning. We're almost there. Hang on there. Four, up, down, and back. Five, up, down, and back. I'm feeling two. Up, down, and back. And up, down, and back. And I think it's three more. I probably am the worst counter ever. And back. Let's go two more here. Down. Last one. Forward. And stay up with the pulses. Ten. Nine. Eight. Higher. Seven, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ooh, that really burned deep. Okay. Wow. All right. Let it go. Come up, hit your bottom. All right, let go of this. Okay, let's place your arm around there. So you, if you feel like your band's getting a bit loose, you can tighten up a little bit. So you know you're getting a good work in the shoulder and the arm. All right, onto a quad cat position here. Align your hands, the shoulder, knee, center of the hip, and I like you to pull apart the back. So you're feeling your triceps are working, your lats muscles are working here. Long spine to start. Let's do a cat. Breathe that way around. Push down with the hand, push off with the abdominal and wide shoulder, wide arms into neutral spine, extend the upper back. Exhale, we round. And flex the spine, inhale, flat back, upper back, is down, two more times, please, exhale. I'm working, I'm feeling my outer arm muscles working here as well as my lat muscles, which rest on the side of your step away. Round back, into a flat back, and extend, I think that was number two, let's do one more time, Right. And a flat and extend arch. Okay, let's go down to the floor, bend the elbow. We've got our single leg kick and we've got some modified swimming clean. So the same feeling, pull apart the bend. Open that shoulder nice and wide. Glide, or feel like the forearms gliding towards the pelvis as you lift the lower abs. I lift the upper trunk, bring both legs up. Let's go right and keep two times. Flash, and in breath, and in breath, and an exhale, 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 and Keep pulling the bed apart and in, 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 in. Extend the legs low, lower the chest, stretch your arms forward, palms down. Glide the shoulder blades down. I want you to just slightly lift the upper back up into an extension. The neck is still long. Reaching both legs off the floor as you lift the lower abs off the floor here. Now we're going to lift the right leg up. Lift the left leg up from the hip joint, that is. Right leg up, left leg up. Still pull the band apart. And here, I'm going to go a little bit faster. So five, inhale, five, exhale. We're going to paddle. Exhale. And paddle, still pull the band apart. Exhale. And if you've got this, you can lift the arms off, floating as well. It's a bit more work here with the upper spine, upper back muscle. Taking care that you don't lift the shoulders up to your ears. I'm gonna have, I want you to have long neck, broad shoulder, strong long arms in front of you. That's too much. Drop the arms down. Inhale. Keep paddling the feet. Exhale. We'll look at the bend. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, neck is long. Last one here. 
Exhale. And hold. Coming down. Well done. All right. Bring up. Forearm in. Push the floor away around your back. Sit back to your rest position. In breath here. Exhale. In breath. One more time. Exhale. Let's roll up through the spine. Lengthening up. In breath. And exhale. All right, my friend. We are done. We are done. That was fantastic work from you. Give your body more bow. Don't sit down just yet. Get the body moving, get the blood circulation moving, and please drink a lot of water to hydrate yourself. Hey, I'll see you back on the mat again tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.